Kitty Pride, as we know, is confirmed. Nimrod is also confirmed as well. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a motion comic reaction video, but also a champion special attacks, as well as animations, as well as fight breakdown as well. So, as a lot of you know, the motion comic has dropped for the uh, the next month, which is Future Shock X Men. Uh, I'm just gonna do like a quick kind of like just well, not kind of deep dive of it, but just kind of cover it because it's actually. Now one of my favorite motion comics. So the reason for liking this motion comic so much is number one, it showcases Kitty Pride, as you know, I'm a big X-Men fan, but it also goes further to actually kind of go into different mutants, different scenarios and uniforms that the character possesses. So you go like a little drop down into one outfit and also goes into another. Like it's just like, it's really incredible. And it's narrated as well, like with a great story to it as well. This is the time when things work and things I really like from. And you've got Wolverine there in the background having some samurai ninja fight. Uh, so like, it's just amazing, you know, showcasing the various different types of uniforms of Kitty Pride, talking about her time as a guardian and her like backstory, which I think is incredible. The outfit that they've got in Marvel Contest of Champions is probably one of the best ones to get because it very much showcases her as an ex man or ex woman or ex men person however you want to describe it and as well right at the very end does that nice little reveal of uh, of nimrod which is just the best thing ever lockheed's there and, and as well to help out so let's have a look at the uh, the champion in action and we're gonna look over that several times. So, uh, so both kind of things to like point out is like, yeah, character design uh, looks amazing. So that's the best thing about it. Nimrod looks exactly how Nimrod I would imagine from watching him in X Men the Animated Series. But again, let's play on. You can see as well. Let's just pause the screen right here. We've got some stuff going on. We've got a little bit of power lock in. We've got a little bit of um, well, that looks like it's um, it looks like it's ice. Hmm. Um, incinerate on there for Nimrod, so there could be some good reasons for that. Some kind of like electro or lightning based things. And as well, armor up buffs. So it's just a little bit of play there, just a little bit of breakdown. Wow, okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's a cool amount, that's a cool little animation right there. It's not a cool amount of damage, but it's a cool animation. Kitty Pride, of course, has got that kind of like element to her that's got that um, translucent not invisibility, but it's kind of like a, um, a you can transfer a few, few things. Let's bring this back again and have a look a little bit more. So yeah, uh, first there's a vulnerability. So there's a vulnerability right there, top left hand corner, which you can see that's something that, uh, you know, we'll find out more about when the spotlights for these champions drop next week. And it looks like there's, that's an SP1, I wanna say, or an SP2. To be honest, it looks like it's more devastating, so more than likely an SP2 for that one. And then we've got uh, Cowardice pop up, so whatever that is. Incinerate damage, which I don't know, I think that's probably from Lockheed putting that on. And it looks to be some sort of different kind of moding here with Nimrod. So it looks like it'd be like an orange mode, which could be like a, an offensive versus a blue, which is defensive. So there could be some uh, some kind of like thing with that. And yeah, it just looks like this uh, champion is incredibly powerful. Those are the animations again. Just looks, everything looks sick. It looks amazing. Like Nimrod just stuck in there like, hey. On the Nimrod! Bitch! Oh, sorry, I had to. I had to do that. I reckon they probably did that as a as a note thing to kind of have him dragged through, and it just be like uh, you know Vinnie Jones, just like uh, I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Uh, if you've seen if you've seen X Men Three, you'll get that reference. If you haven't seen X Men Three, right, I think you're doing yourself a favour because, in my opinion, it's probably one of the worst ones. And it has to do with Days of Future Past to actually put the events of that right. Because uh, cause thank God for Days of Future Past. That was such a great film. But it would be nice to see Nimrod in the um, MCU in a later date. Either way, like, look at this. Like, it's, it, just, it just looks cool, isn't it? <laughs> I just want, I just love... But, like, even though he's a static old Nimrod, it would be good to just have him there as, like, uh, to kind of, like, mouth it a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm, no, there, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna print screen this, because this is just like, is it, this, this makes me laugh, because it is very much like that Vinnie Jones, I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. It's funny, like, because even Nimrod with the helmet actually looks a little bit like um, a Juggernaut, but it isn't. Right, it has um, connections to Sentinel and a Mega Sentinel down the line, so there's some hope, yeah. 
that we could at least get that. Again, um, go check it out. Link in the description to the motion comic. It is is pretty sick going through those different types of uniforms and Star Lord one and you know the other type of outfit there for Kitty Pride. It's really good to have Lockheed in. Some ways I'm like, oh, you know, I've got because I watch New Mutants. I'm like, do I associate more with Magic? Kind of, but you know, I'm happy for it to let it go in there, and as well adds a little bit more to the character's potency, and especially having Incinerate, and as well like more kind of like, I don't know, potential miss mechanic. Because that's the thing as well, not really seeing it here. One criticism about this is that I'm not really seeing anything in the the kind of realms of right. Well, is she going like in, invisible? And that may be something. Uh, right there, which uh, right at the very top, top left hand corner, this kind of thing, like a temperature thing, uh, it looks like a temperature thing, like a thermometer, and whether or not at a certain point you go like translucent or invisible, because it was, is it invisible? Because it's like, again, you kind of meant to like go through things, similar to like mist mechanic and stuff, so that's what I hope, like if Kabam have not done that, then that would be a problem. Now, we don't see any of this footage except for the SP3, which is being done here. The extent of, like, that in action. So, that's really my kind of, like, feeling right there. We don't get to see it in that very in this very short space of time, in this very kind of, like, little click, quick for footage here. You don't get to see a certain point where it's, um, it's higher. So, that really will be my thing of going, like, okay, well, where do we stand on the invisibility, translucent, whatever it is, of um, of Kitty Pride and why uh, it's not in here should hopefully be in the game. If it's not, we riot. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that has been uh, the video. Check out the link in the description if you want to watch all this. Yes, Kitty Pride and Nimrod, very exciting stuff. And I am really looking forward to next month because it's mutants. I just got to catch up with this month because I'm very much behind. But unfortunately, life hits hard when you don't want it to, and that's the way it goes. Make sure as well to check out some other content located on screen right now, including my prediction-based puzzle video thing, which has just dropped uh, earlier today, and also some other news and topics from Monday, which is important stuff. Make sure to watch the Marvel Contest of Champions news show tomorrow, and as well, I'll be live streaming tonight. My throat is feeling a lot better. I'm still a bit nasally and congested, but it should be fine to stream. See you later on. Bye-bye.